All right, since we're squaring and working with these right triangles, we're going to have some square roots, some radicals, and we want to, uh, want to review a little bit about simplifying radicals. And I want you to remember that there's no perfect square factors underneath a radical, nor can we have a radical in a denominator. And uh, we'll refresh your course on how to take care of that. So um, if we have a radical of a number that we're not sure how to simplify it, then what we need to do is, uh, is break it down into its components. Um, there's one way of doing it is to break it down into see which perfect squares go into that. And Ms. Hill likes doing that. If she knows her perfect squares, she would say that well, that, well that's the same thing as 9 times 24. And or I can and with the same thing as uh, 9 times 4 times 6 which, if I look at it closely, yes, that would be the same thing as the square root of 9 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. And the square root of 9 is 3, square root of 4 is 2, and square root of 6, well, that cannot be simplified because it's 3 times 2. So this would all simplify to 6 root 6. That's all fine and good if you are a master of your perfect squares, and I am not. So... What I like doing is, and Ms. Hill told you this way, this is kind of the, the jailbreak. So what you do is you take your number and you start factoring only with prime numbers. So the, the easiest prime number I like is like 2 if it's even. So that goes into it 108 and I do it kind of upside down. And 2 goes into that 54. Uh, 2 goes into this 27 times. Now, 2 is no longer an even number, so we go into 3, still factoring, excuse me, dividing by only prime numbers. 3 goes into 27 9 times. 3 goes into 9 3 times. And at this point, we have, we have a prime factorization of the number 216, excuse me. And prime factorization is all prime numbers that, when multiplied, uh, would give me your number. So, uh, in this case, 216 is equal to 1, 2, 3, the 2 cubed times 3 cubed. Yes, and that's the, that is the prime factorization. Well, how does that help me to get 6 root 6? And if you remember the jailbreak, uh, Ms. Hill said it takes two people to, to, uh, that look alike for one person to break out of jail in the square root number. So, I have two people here that look alike. One dies, one escapes. Uh, that two has no partner. This three has a partner. One escapes, one dies. And leaving me with an escapee, escapee, left in jail, left in jail. And I don't write down the two unlucky lookalikes. Leaving me now at six root six. Fantastic. The reason I really like this is if you increase the uh, jail security, like maybe the cube root of 216, you can use the same method. Now, this is a, a higher security jail where it takes two people that look like you so that you can escape. And if we Think about that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. These, for this triplet right there, two of them would, would be uh, caught or deceased so that two can escape. And in this group, these two would decease. And so, as a matter of fact, the cube root of 216 is nothing more than 6, which is the same thing as 6 times 6 times 6 is equal to 216. All right, so let's do one more example. You can pause and see if you can do it, and then you can check on me and, and see if I did it right. 5925. All right, I'm going to first do a prime factorization. This is a square root, not cube root, and I will put my number as 5925. It's divisible by 5. That goes into 3, 1, 8, 5. Now that one is also divisible by 5. Goes 6, 37. 
At this point, you were like, okay, now I don't know what that's divisible by. Possibly. It's not, it's not even, it's not odd. Uh, excuse me, it is odd. Uh, and 637, oh, but look, oh, 63 and 7, oh, it, as a matter of fact, start checking your, on your calculator and start dividing by prime numbers, prime numbers only. 7 goes into there uh, 9 times and 91, and you're like, okay, what, what, now you start checking again. And if you don't know your factors, uh, it, use your calculator and you can figure out that 7 does indeed go into 91 13 times. So now I've got a pair here where one escapes, one is deceased, one escapes, one is deceased. Leave me with five escape times seven escaped, and left in jail is a lonely 13, giving me a 35 root 13. All right. Uh, and so that should take care of you simplifying radicals, at least for the problems.